We tend to think of rum as the summertime sip to mix in tropical drinks, pina coladas, mojitos, the list goes on. But a new slew of ultra high-end rums are made for sipping solo, including the $1,500 Brugal Papa Andres, which Market Watch's Charles Passy has brought along for today's weekend sip. Charles, great to see you, and thank yeah. you for bringing such a fabulous look, look at that package. treat with you. Yes, <laughs> yeah. look at this. So okay. this rum is $1,500. What right. makes it so special? Well, I mean, this is taking essentially the best of the best from their warehouse. Brugal is a rum brand that's based in the Dominican Republic. Keep in mind, they have 250,000 casks of rum in their storage room or in their warehouse. They pick 36 casks for this, the, the best of the best. These are casks that have been aged for quite a while. These are what they consider. They've sampled everything. Uh, distillers always sample their product. This is what they consider the finest rum they have in storage. And so and they there's have, also a charitable, com charitable there component. There is a charitable right? component. The, the sale of this rum will go to benefit a foundation they have, which basically is trying to uh, eradicate poverty in the Dominican right. Republic. So there is a charitable component, but this is really about, you know, also about celebrating rum at its well, absolute it's finest. it's part of a trend, right, right? of these high-end yeah. rums. I mean, absolutely. I mean, you know, we, as you indicated, we think of rum as a mixing thing, but the truth is rum can really be thought of in the same way as a single malt scotch. It's it, perfectly fine on its own, particularly if it's an aged variety, and, you know, everybody is coming out. I mean, the most common brand out there, Ron Zacapa, which retails for, you know, somewhere in the mid-30s to 50s, somewhere in that. Uh, Bacardi has some higher-end expressions. So you now. don't have to spend $1,500 to no, get a no, nice no, high-end rum. You don't. In fact, in fact, Brugal <laughs> itself, has. They, they recommend very strongly, they suggest, if you can't afford this, they right. have a $50 uh, one they call Brugal 1888. So there are lots of alternatives, but if you really have that extra four figures to spend, <laughs> why not? this so, might be worth trying. So how is a beautiful rum like this best enjoyed? Well, I would say neat. Really, you don't want to mess with this. You certainly don't want to add Coca-Cola to this. Yes. Um, um, if you want to add a drop of water to open up, you can, which you would do with scotch, but I think this is really terrific. All right, well, All right cheers, Charles. See. Thank you for bringing this along. Let's take a taste. Mmm, that is really lovely. It is yeah. so smooth, and for me, just the right amount of sweet, right. which is to say not too sweet. Right, exactly. I mean, what what one of the things about this is you get this sort of dry sherry note mm -hmm. to it. Um, not surprisingly, this rum has been aged, a large part of it has been aged in sherry casks, former sherry casks, but you get this sort of dryness. It kind of just coats your tongue a certain way, like a sherry would, and, um, and I just, again, sippable is the word that I keep thinking about. This is a rum that, you know, you don't want to mix. You want to sort of enjoy, well, you know, like watching the beach from your castle. I on, mean, on the I ocean have to say, whatever. sipping this rum does make me feel like I'm on the balcony <laughs> overlooking the Caribbean. Right, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so sure. much, Charles. Cheers. Cheers. Have a great weekend.